but we talk about a one, one trick pony. I watch the tape here. These cuts are nasty. He's making. They're not yeah. just like his one trick is a good one trick. <laughs> yes, we're back again. We're back again. We're back. Hey, let's pump up the volume. Right here. <laughs> If you're listening or watching the show, we appreciate you. Uh, go ahead and hit like, like and subscribe right now. We would appreciate that. Moving on to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they selected Keyshawn Vaughn out of Vanderbilt at number 76 overall, Johnny. And so we've got a running back going to Tampa Bay, maybe not the one we wanted, but there is a running back in Tampa Bay now. We need to talk about it. So, Johnny, what are your... You know, how excited are you? What's your temperature on, on Vaughn right now? Uh, certainly coming around a little bit on Vaughn. Um, of course, you'd much rather have one of these bigger fishes uh, land there because we've been researching and we and we like the pedigree of like, you know, a lot of these guys. We had our, our landing show. We gave our top picks for where we'd like players to land in Tampa Bay. And neither you or I or a lot of player, you know, mock drafts uh, would pick Vaughn to go to Tampa Bay. But here we are, uh, so let's discuss it, right? Vaughn comes in. He is a uh, pretty good-sized running back. Uh, you know, his his college tape looks really, really good. He looks like a very nice running back. I do expect him to come and, and take the majority of this uh, backfield. Listen, it's going to be a crowded backfield. You're you've got you still have Ronald Jones. You've got, you know, now they bring in Vaughn, which is on a third uh third round draft grade, which for Bruce Arians is pretty significant because let's not let's not forget that David Johnson was a third round draft pick. So that's kind of nice. But um Ronald Jones extremely struggles. It took him a while to play David Johnson though, too. It did. It did. He doesn't that is one thing. He doesn't necessarily like to start rookies right away. He wants to let them earn their stuff, but here's the difference. And this is why I'm more so coming around on Vaughn than I would normally uh because that is a very good point, but guess what? Like right now is the time for Tampa Bay. It's now or never. There's no tomorrow. So you can't really play that card uh, if you're Bruce Arians, because I also think this is his last ride. So I think and maybe I also has, think it's like he, Bruce Arians has, has had good quarterbacks before, but he's never yeah. had Tom. Brady. Right. Yeah. And Tom Brady at 42 who wants to win the Super Bowl right now. Yeah. He's going to tell B.A., hey, uh, I want this other guy in and he's probably going to be in the game if that's the case. Exactly. So um, certainly Vaughn, I do think that he could be a guy that uh, is a mover uh, for draft, you know, on rookie drafts, as well as. I think that once we start getting closer and closer to dra you know, drafting time, whenever that will be, uh, I do think that Vaughn's draft stock will go up because I think people will start to notice that, hey, Rojo is is kind of the odd man out here, um, and I, I, I don't see him being very productive this year. Um, so Vaughn is a guy that I, I think that is a nice, nice pick. Uh, I thought that they could have done. I would have liked them to get, you know, one of these bigger guys for sure. But Vaughn like is a guy. What Tampa Bay did, though, man, they 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 beefed up their team around Brady in other ways um, with the, within the offensive line, within the defense. Mm -hmm. And so I think that was the right. Oh, thing. Will's Will's pick in the second or in with our first round pick was absolutely dynamite. I love that. Yeah. And I think that was the style here. And so, yeah, get yourself that third round running back. And here's the deal. Vaughn is a typical B.A. running back. He's a one-cut zone yeah. specialist. Mm -hmm. He's going to work really well in B.A.'s scheme. And I think, you know, we talk about a one-trick pony. I watch the tape here. These cuts are nasty he's making. They're not yeah. just like his one trick is a good one trick. <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, I think they'll be they'll be happy. And we could be sitting back here in, in 10 years going, Vaughn had a pretty good career doing what he was supposed to do within the system. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening to the Fantasy Whisperers podcast. You can hear more from John and Travis on Google Play, SoundCloud, and iTunes. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at TF Whisperers.